Hi everyone, I'm Doc Ken and welcome to the overview of science, technology, and society. Before we understand what is science, technology, and society, we have to understand first science and its branches. First, let's define what science is. Science is a systematic body of knowledge based on careful observation and experimentation. Systematic means process. When we talk about process, it refers to step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1, step 2, step 3. We cannot proceed to step 3 without undergoing steps 1 and 2. And that is a process. A good example of this is a pen. When using a pen for writing, it is systematic. It has process. When writing letter L, we have to write a vertical line to be followed by a horizontal line at the end portion below of the vertical line. It has process. Yes. Do we observe it using our senses which pertains to observation, such as sense of sight? Yes. Do we have experimentation or actual application? Yes. If it is useful in our daily lives, it becomes proven knowledge. Pen is used for writing for us to be able to communicate with one another. Then if it becomes useful in our daily lives, it becomes proven knowledge. Therefore, pen is a science. Another example is a chair. When using a chair, it has a process. You have to sit first and second, you have to lean back for us to be able to be seated properly and to be relaxed. Do we observe it? Yes. Do we have actual application? Yes. When it becomes useful in our daily lives, it becomes science. Science has two major branches. What are those? You have social science and natural science. Social science refers to the study of people, culture, and society. It's more on social studies. You study people in the community, the culture of people in the society. While natural science refers in seeking the natural world. Why there's a tree, water, land, air. It's all about curiosity and discovery in the natural world. Natural science has two major branches, pure science and applied science. When we talk about pure science, it pertains to pursuing knowledge only. You study biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science for knowledge only. That's it. You study the blood circulation for you to be able to know the process of oxygenation. That's it. For knowledge only. While applied science, you gain knowledge to solve a particular problem. A good example of this is research. You discovered something to solve a problem. You find a solution or strategy for a better result. Another example is calculator. We're having difficulty in calculating things in the past that scientists invented something for us to compute easily. We discovered calculator for easy computation. Pure science has major branches. Biological science and physical science. When we talk about biological science, this pertains to living things, while physical science refers to the study of non-living things or physical quantities. So here in Science, Technology, and Society, we'll be talking about how science affects the society, which pertains to social science, and how the people, culture, and society affect science. Also, we'll be talking about how technology, which pertains to applied science, affects the society and how society affects technology. If there's a problem in society, there will be adjustment in science and technology. Example, if we people need a good mode of transportation, which pertains to physical science, what technologies must be developed in order to ease the need of the society regarding transportation. Technology must be driven in order to address societal problems. Another one, if there's a problem in health which pertains to life, 
such as the pandemic that we have been experiencing right now, the COVID-19, what science and technology can be made to address the pandemic that we have been experiencing or facing worldwide? Of course, the development of vaccine. 